it's really awesome to have you guys here and to do a little bit of yoga together today. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, and we're going to do some really, really fun yoga today. So I would like to know, I'm really curious, have you guys, how many of you guys, and you can just raise your hand, because I know we can't talk to each other very well, but you can raise your hand. How many of you guys love animals? Can you raise your hand if you love animals? So some of us raised our hands for I love animals. That's so cool. How many of you love nature and being outside and things in nature? Do you love nature? Raise your hand if you love nature. Yeah, sometimes our nature in the desert is really hot, so we might not love it all the time, right? <laughs> but sometimes we love it, yeah? So did you guys know that a long, 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 long time ago, people also loved nature and they also loved animals. And they looked, they spent a lot of time in nature looking at everything around them. And they thought, wow, those animals look so amazing and nature looks so wonderful and beautiful and balanced and and they would they would paint and draw animals and they would take pictures in their minds of everything and they would also move their bodies in a way. They move their bodies like the animals because they felt like the animals and like nature had so much that they could um, that they could make themselves feel really happy if they moved in the same way as those animals, which is really cool. And it's how yoga came about, was through connecting with those animals in nature. So we're gonna do some really fun yoga moves today that let us connect to animals and to nature. And it's really cool because a lot of times these days we're stuck inside all the time, right? We have four walls around us. How many of you are stuck inside all day or most of the day? A lot of day. Yeah, maybe you get out sometimes, right? But sometimes you're stuck inside. So one of the ways that we can connect to nature and to the animals and to the things we love outdoors and to feel really calm and happy is to move ourselves in a way that we're being like those animals, which can be really fun. So we're gonna start just in sitting. So if you're already in sitting, that's great. If you're not, find a place where you can sit down. And we're just gonna come and we can either do crisscross applesauce, or we can be sitting in our chair, or we can have our legs out in front of us, whatever is really comfortable for you. And then we're gonna start with a little breath ex exercise. So we're gonna start to breathe like bunnies. Raise your hand if you know what a bunny looks like. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows what a bunny looks like, right? And how does a bunny breathe? A bunny sniffs through its nose. It sniffs stuff because it wants to smell everything. So we're gonna pretend like we're bunnies and we're gonna take three big sniffs through our nose like we're smelling something. So it'll go one, two, three, and then we can go, ah, like it smells really, really good. So if you want to, you can join me and we're gonna do that four times, four bunny breaths. So ready, set, bunny breath number one. Let's go, one, two, three, ah. Second one, one, two, three, Ah, and last one, ready? One, two, three. Ah, good job, guys. That's how a bunny breathes. So we can pretend, we can imagine that we're, we're, we're that bunny and we're smelling a beautiful flower, or maybe we're smelling carrots if we're hungry, right? So the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna pretend like we're first a caterpillar, you guys know that a caterpillar turns into a butterfly? How many of you know that? Does a caterpillar turn into a butterfly? Right? Isn't that so cool that a caterpillar and a butterfly are the same animal? That's amazing, isn't it? So we're gonna pretend like we're a caterpillar first. So if you're sitting down in your seat, you can bring your legs out long. And I can't see everybody super well, so if anybody is still sitting in their chairs, you can just put your legs out in front of you. You don't have to hold them up, it's okay. We're just gonna bring our legs out long. 
and we're gonna be like a caterpillar going into our cocoons. We're gonna close up into our caterpillar cocoon. So we're gonna bring our arms up high, and take a big breath in, and then we're gonna close up into our caterpillar cocoon and fold all the way down. And we're gonna take four big breaths in our caterpillar cocoon. Breathing in one and out two and out three and out and last one in and out let's do that one more time so we're gonna bring our arms up high reaching up like we're a caterpillar stretching taking our caterpillar stretch first thing in the morning and then we're gonna close up into our caterpillar cocoon coming all the way down see if you can touch your toes can you touch your toes can you fold all the way down and touch your toes it's okay sometimes i can sometimes i can it's okay we're gonna be caterpillars and breathe one two three four then really slowly we're gonna pretend like we're emerging from our caterpillar cocoon as a butterfly so we can come back up and bring our feet together if you're sitting on the floor you can bring your feet together and bring your knees out wide if you're sitting in your chair you could use your arms as wings but we're going to use our legs as wings if you're sitting on the floor so we have really cool butterfly wings so see if you can maybe flap your butterfly wings. Not really hard because we don't want to hurt our butterfly's brand new wings. We want to make it really gentle to gently flap and dry our butterfly wings. And then see if you can imagine that you are a beautiful butterfly flapping your butterfly wings. Just woken up from your long, long nap. And this is the first time you get to see how beautiful you are as a butterfly. How absolutely stunning. Maybe you bring one leg up like you're opening a butterfly wing and see what color your wing is underneath. Mine is rainbow sparkles. You can see if you can imagine what color your rainbow wing is underneath that leg. Or if you're using your arms, maybe you can just look at your arm too or open your arm out wide. The other side, we can look and see if it's, is it the same color? Can we open that leg out wide and see if that butterfly wing is the same color on this side? Maybe you tell your teacher, since I can't hear you, but maybe you tell your teacher what color your gut butterfly wing is. And then we can close that butterfly wing up. Good job, guys. Maybe flap those wings a little bit more. Do you know, sometimes butterflies get sleepy. So sometimes butterflies need to take a nap too. They've come out of their wing, or out of their cocoon, but they still need to take naps. So we can put our butterfly heads down, close to our feet, and take a butterfly nap. We can be in our nap, butterfly nap spot for three, two, one and then wake up butterflies are you awake hello butterflies is everybody awake good really good butterflies awesome so those are some really cool animals that we can pretend to be and move our bodies in really fun ways we can also pretend to be some other really cool animals so if you're on the floor we can come to our hands and knees you can bring your hands right under your shoulders and your knees right under your hips. You might already have an idea of what kind of animal you might be like if you're on your hands and knees like this. And if you're, again, if you're just sitting in a chair, I can show you a different way to do it. We can come to our hands and our knees, and then has anyone, raise your hand, if you have seen a cat be mad. Have you seen a cat hiss or be mad? A lot of you have seen mad cats. So this is our cat position. This is our cat yoga. And we can pretend like we're a happy cat first. Maybe we're looking up and looking around and 
we might be wagging our tails just a little bit side to side and then maybe we see something that we don't like like the big fog in the neighborhood and we might get mad and when we get mad we're gonna round our backs and really really look back toward our legs and then make a big hissing sound <sighs> awesome guys so see if you can do that with me we'll do it three more times so first will be our happy cat looking around happy cat checking everything out and then uh oh here comes the dog let's make our big mad cat round your back and <sighs> hissing like a mad cat good two more look up happy cat and then arch your back and hiss mad cat Shh. last one look up and then look down arch your back and hiss for the next one we can pretend like we're that big dog that big dog that came chasing after the cat so sometimes big dogs like to take a big stretch first thing in the morning. So if you're comfortable right where you are, you can just bring your arms forward a little bit and stretch forward like you're a dog taking a big stretch. You want to do a, something just a tiny bit more challenging. You could curl your toes under in the back and lift your knees and hips and take a really big dog stretch. Pressing back towards your legs like you're a dog stretching first thing in the morning. Nice. And we might lift one leg for a dog tail and see if we can wag that tail around a little bit. Awesome, guys. And we might lift the other leg, switch out and lift that other leg. Maybe you make a big dog sound. Make a big dog sound for your teacher. Woof, woof. Hey, guys. Nice. And then we can come all the way back to our knees. Woof, that was a big dog stretch. We might take a little dog stretch again, or another one if you just did the little dog stretch. You can reach your hands forward and just take a little stretch. Ah, oh, like a yawning dog. And then we can bring our hips all the way down to our heels and sit back and take a little rest and curl up like a little rock. So this is our rock shape really cool place to be and it's a really cool place to rest you can imagine yourself like a rock sunning itself on a beautiful day and just like a rock you can be still calm quiet just enjoy being a rock for just a couple of breaths And then we can make our way up and we're going to go ahead and make our way all the way up to standing. So again, if you're sitting in a chair, it's totally fine. You can just sit up really tall, but if you can come up to standing, we're going to come all the way up to standing. All right, guys. Nice. So how many of you, you guys live in Las Cruces, so hopefully you look out your windows from time to time. How many of you have seen a mountain? Raise your hand if you've seen a mountain. <laughs> yeah, because there's a mountain right out our windows, right? A great big mountain. So we can be like a mountain. We can be strong and tall and really, really huge, just like a mountain if we want to be. So we can stand up on our mats or on the floor or wherever you can stand up. Or if you're sitting, you can just sit really tall and then if we think about a mountain, a mountain has a big wide base, right? So we can take our legs a little bit wider. So can you guys take your legs wide? Rock side to side a little bit. Good job, guys. Yeah. And then we can bring our hands overhead like the point of the mountain, the peak of the mountain, right? There's the top of the mountain. Nice. And then we can look up a little bit like we're looking toward the sky and we can believe we're a mountain. And you can say it, you can say it out loud. I'm as strong as a mountain. I'm as tall as a mountain. And take a big breath in. And then let your arms come all the way down and all the way 
down, maybe all the way down to the floor. Can you come all the way down to the floor? Or maybe part way, wherever it feels good. Good job. And then we can come all the way back up. We're growing our mountain. Our mountain gets bigger and bigger, bigger and bigger and bigger. And then we have our peak of our mountain again. And we look up and we can say, I'm as strong as a mountain. All right, good job, guys. And then we can come back to our standing. Do you guys know what comes out at night? Well, it's there all the time. But what do you see in the sky at night? Does anyone know? Raise your hand if you know what you see in the sky at night. Probably some good ideas, right? Maybe you see stars. Do you see stars at night? Yeah, we see some stars at night, yeah. So we can also pretend like we're a star. So we can take our legs back out wide and bring our arms out wide to the sides like we're a star. We have five points on our star. So let's see if we can count them. We have one point is one foot. Can you lift it up and show me one foot? Go ahead. And then the second point is the other foot. Lift it up and wiggle it around if you can. It's okay. Don't fall over though. And then we have one hand is one point. Hello, wave with one hand. Good. The other point is the other hand. Good. And then we have our head is our last point of our star. Can we touch our head? Nice, guys. And then big star out wide. And we can do some shooting stars. How many of you have seen shooting stars? Raise your hand if you've seen a shooting star. It's okay if you haven't. Sometimes we see them, sometimes we don't. So we can be shooting stars. So we can breathe in and bring our points of our star in and bend our knees a little bit. So we take a big breath in and then we can breathe out and shoot our star out and let everything come out. Ah, ah. Okay, so let's try that a few times. We'll breathe in, bring your arms in, bend your knees, and then shooting star out. <sighs> Everything comes out. Good job, yeah, just like that, guys. That's so good, one more time. Breathe in, points of the star come in. Breathe out, shooting star goes out. <sighs> nice, all right. There's some other really cool things in, our, in nature that we see around us a lot. Maybe not as much here, but a lot of places there are trees everywhere. And trees are really beautiful and the wind blows through the leaves and they can give you a really peaceful, calming feeling. So I'd love for you guys to join me in pretending to be trees today. So the way we're going to do that is just to bring one foot up and make a kickstand. Just like if your bike had a kickstand. So you're just going to put your heel against your ankle. So you're just balancing on one foot with your toes down. So you have lots of, lots of balance. And your knee out to the side a little bit. Good job, guys. You guys got it. That's so good. And then we can pretend like our arms are the tree branches. Ooh. We have arms as our tree branches. And we can pretend the wind is blowing and it's moving our tree branches side to side, swaying in the wind. Beautiful, such a peaceful feeling with our tree branches swaying. We have to make sure our tree is really strong though, so it doesn't fall completely over, right? Because if, if the wind is too strong and our tree's not sturdy, then it'll fall right over. So we have to be really strong in our feet and our legs. Good. Okay, now we'll just let that side come down and you can just shake your arms around a little bit, move around, wiggle around. And now we're gonna see if we can be a tree on the other side. So the other foot lifts up and make your kickstand. Bring your knee out to the side. Good, on this side, you guys got it. Awesome, and let's bring our tree branches up. This time we're gonna see if we can count, if we can balance here and count all the way to 10. You guys ready? You can count out loud with me if you want to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, let it go. Good job, guys. That was a long one. That was 10 whole counts in balance. That's really good. 
So being a tree can make us feel really calm and peaceful. You know, one of the animals that we don't get to see around here very often, but loves trees because they like to eat all the leaves out of the trees, is a giraffe. Has anyone ever seen a giraffe? Have you seen a giraffe? Oh, maybe not. That's okay. Some people have. Yeah, maybe you've seen a giraffe at the zoo or in pictures. So giraffes are kind of silly looking. So we're going to see if we can pretend to be like a giraffe. So we're going to bring our feet a little bit wider. So see if you can bring your feet a little bit wider. And then we're going to pretend like our arms are the giraffe's, giraffe's neck and our hands get to be the giraffe's head. So we're going to bring our hands together like a, like a giraffe's head and we're going to bring our hands up really high like the giraffe's neck. So the giraffe likes to eat leaves from the trees. So they might reach up and munch, 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 munch. Maybe they munch all the way to one side on the tree. And then they might munch, 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 munch back to center and all the way to the other side. Munch, 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 munch. Can you eat lots of leaves with your giraffe's long neck reaching up into the tree? That's so good. Munch, munch, munch back to center. Do you know if a giraffe has to get a drink of water, they have to reach all the way down there, all the way to the ground. Their giraffe head with a really long neck has to get all the way down to the ground. So can you take your giraffe head and neck and make it go all the way down to the ground to get a drink of water? Maybe you make a drinking noise. <laughs> nice job guys and we can bring our giraffe neck all the way back up and reach up for our leaves awesome let's do that one more time because giraffes get really thirsty particularly when they're eating a bunch of leaves so we're going to reach to one side munch on some leaves reach to the other side munch on some leaves back to the middle and then all the way down to take our big drink of delicious water good job and then we can come all the way back up nice it's fun to be animals right it's super fun we'll do one more in standing so another thing that really loves trees because they love to perch on the branches of trees are eagles Ooh, has anyone ever seen an eagle yeah if you've seen an eagle raise your hands they're so beautiful, right? Sometimes they like to fly around so we can take our arms out wide yeah? and we can fly around, pretend like we're soaring through the sky. Nice, looking down at everything below us. Everything looks like little teeny tiny ants on the surface. And then sometimes we might get tired of flying and we might want to perch on a tree branch so we can bring our arms one underneath the other and we can pretend that our arms are the eagle's beak. So can you guys make an eagle's beak for me? One arm under the other. You might open and close your beak. If you make an eagle sound, what kind of sound does an eagle make? It's like a screech almost, right? Ah! <laughs> Good, so we have an eagle beak. And then sometimes we might balance a little bit on one leg. Birds love to balance on one leg. So we might take one foot and cross it over the other. Like we're an eagle perched on one leg. Can you cross your legs in the front and still balance? It's really hard, right? You guys are doing great. Can you cross your legs and be like an eagle balancing on a branch. You're very regal. Yes, you're very amazing. That's so good, guys. Awesome. But then we get tired of sitting and we want to fly again. So we spread our wings out wide. Can you guys spread your wings out wide? Eagle wings out wide. Soaring through the sky. Good. And maybe we'll land one more time. We can land one more time. Bring one arm under the other. Make your eagle beak. Maybe you try to bring the other arm underneath this time. And then you might try to perch on your branch on one leg by crossing your ankles in the front. Good job, guys. Make your eagle beak. Make some sounds. Move your eagle beak. Nice. That's so good. Oh, awesome guys, and we can just let that go. Good job, you guys are so amazing. We're gonna come back down to our floor and we're gonna come to our bellies. So we're gonna come all the way down on our tummies. So if you can come down to your tummies, 
and then just rest your head for a second and just listen so what we're gonna do the next one that we're gonna do is pretend like we're a snake so some of you might love snakes some of you might not but snakes are really powerful and you can be like a snake too so we're gonna pretend like we're a snake so what we're gonna do is lift ourselves up just a little bit as far as you want to go so bring your hands under your shoulders and lift yourself up your body just your upper body up and then you can pretend like you're a snake and make a snake sound so we'll make a big breath in and then we'll all around awesome so we're gonna do that we're gonna let ourselves come all the way back down and then when we breathe in we'll come up like a snake come all the way up breathe in big breath in and then breath out with your hissing sound nice job guys all right and then let's come back to our hands and knees so we're gonna come back to our cat so who remembers how we made our cat moves? Does anybody remember how we did our happy cat? Yeah, and then our mad cat? Awesome, so let's be our happy cat and mad cat one more time. Let's go big breath in, happy cat, look around, and then round our backs, mad cat, the big dog came, and let's hiss. One more time, big breath in, and then hiss it out. Good job. All right, so we're gonna come back to our seat, all the way back to sitting. And we're gonna bring our legs back out one more time in front. And then remember how we were a caterpillar at the beginning of the class and we were a caterpillar? that folded into its cocoon. So we're gonna be a caterpillar folding into its cocoon one more time. So we can bring our arms up overhead and then fold into our sleepy cocoon. Ha! <sighs> and take three big breaths. Three, two, one. Good job, guys. And then we're just gonna come back to seated. And you can either, right now, you get to choose. You can either stay just sitting just like you are, or if you'd like to lie down, you can lie down on your mat for a couple of minutes for a quick rest as we do a little bit of imagining together, right? So you get to pick. You can sit or you can lie down, whichever one you wanna do. Awesome, so take a minute to decide and then lie down or stay sitting up. And then you can decide whether you want to keep your eyes closed or open. Either one is totally fine. And then I want you to just imagine, imagine your very favorite animal in the whole world. And see if you can picture what that animal looks like. And it might be a real animal, or it might be a make-believe animal. Maybe it's a unicorn or a dragon. Maybe it's a pet that you love so much. See if you can picture that animal in your mind and see if you can pretend that you are that animal. What would that feel like? What would it be like? Would you be strong? Would you be kind? Would you be nice? Would you be really happy? Would you be fierce? What would you be like if you were that animal? Take a couple more really deep breaths. You're pretending that you're that beautiful animal. And then when you're ready, you can sit up and maybe later today, if you have time, you can draw a picture of that beautiful animal 
for your teacher or for your parents or whenever you have time, right? So that is all the time we have today for our, our class. You guys can sit up when you're ready. If you if your teacher wants to keep you lying down for a little while, totally fine. Um, otherwise, thank you all so much for joining me and for being here. And I hope you had a lot of fun and I hope to see you guys next week. All right.